Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Rough Talk VR. Uh, today we're talking about what is, in theory, the first AAA game on the Oculus Quest 2. Correct. In theory. Theory. We're talking about Medal of Honor Above and Beyond. Uh, it launched with a lot of hype, uh, a lot of, I guess, space requirement. And I, was, I was excited for it. And a big, big price tag, too. Yeah, it comes with a fat tag, fat download. <laughs> yeah. I so, mean... So it, let's just give the developers before we can get into the nitty gritty of the beast that they're calling Medal of Honor here. Yep. So Medal of Honor Above and Beyond. It's thirty nine ninety nine on the official Oculus Quest store. Uh, it's made by developer Respawn Entertainment. Big big name developer. It's published by EA. Uh, not a know. not a one man studio going on. No, here. this is like, like I said. Three hundred employees, I think. Yeah, it's it's a big studio. You know, made some big games, Titanfall. Um, you know, this is like a the big boys coming into the VR land, yeah. and this and you know electronic arts backing and yeah, this is this is big boys, and this is single player uh, for this the campaign. It has like an online multiplayer, and this game launched probably like I don't know like eight months ago, a year ago, some shit like that on PC VR, uh, and received mixed reviews due to some performance issues mm. that they later fixed. Um, seems a little bit reminiscent in the the Quest version, but oh. we'll, we'll we'll get over that. Uh, so currently on the f the official Oculus Quest store, it's rocking a 3.7 overall rating with a total of 522 ratings and 305 written reviews. You would not expect. So 3.7, that's why I keep referencing. You would referencing. not expect 3.7. Yeah, it seems like um, a lot of the, the criticisms come from two main things, performance issues and download size requirement. Um you know the download is it's 41 gigabytes is this the size of the file but you need about 44 to actually download it as you said you're paying a dollar a gigabyte pretty much uh, it's it's a hefty price tag um 40 bucks is a little steep a little and I steep mean, and, and that's not to say that games can't be sold on the the official quest store for that price uh games can deserve that price tag like resident evil 4 well I'd, if you're gonna drop a, a 40 dollar game and you're rocking a 3.7, and it just came out a week ago. Yeah, something's going wrong. Something, Something's amiss. But out of those in the ratings, because usually, you know, it's like all one or the other when the games are good or bad, but this one's got, um, we always exclude the, like, threes and stuff, but say 53, um, what, 53% is five stars. So you'd say 50% of the people that played it loved it. 20% um, one stars. So you look at the variable there, it's like it's it's a love-hate relationship going on with this game. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And uh, again, it seems like it's a lot of it, either people who bought 64 gigabyte models and they have to delete everything off their hard drive in order to download it, or it's people who, who are just unhappy with frame rate dropping and things like that, which I haven't experienced too much in single player. In single player, you know, I have some criticisms, but for the most part, performance-wise, it runs good. The jank shows in multiplayer. Um, multiplayer, sometimes we've been playing, and, like, I'll see people walking, and they're, like, having a seizure as they're walking. Yeah, or they're glitched, or they don't have a weapon in their hand. Or yeah, their arms and legs are shooting everywhere. It's wild. Um, but what's crazy is, is, you know, the Medal of Honor series has always been... It's always come through. It's all you know. I've never had an issue with going to console gaming and stuff or PC gaming. It's like this game's a shit. So I had some pretty huge expectations when I think a lot of people didn't. I think that's why there's such a big variable in rating. It's like looking uh, back on the whole thing through this whole experience of playing it, and um, I just wish they had ported one of their older games into VR instead of you know starting from scratch yeah making a whole brand new the above and beyond just porting like one of the classic ps1 ps2 one ps2 ones over yeah, yeah no just, i agree you know tighten it up and you know and, and i'm not trying to shit on it but there's some there's some definite issues and i'm and it's not even the download size it's like hey when i bought an oculus i had the option of getting the the lower gigs or not but i didn't know that most games were only a couple of gigs i just a couple gigs, if that. Most are like 600 megabytes. Yeah, so I, I went on the assumption of console gaming. So I'm like, well, of course I need bigger friggin' hard drive because I'm never going to be able to hold all the games. So here's the first example of 
Yeah, get the bigger. Anytime it, things drop with like storage size, even if currently games are kind of small, you should always grab the biggest. That's my opinion. I went to 56 gigabyte. I recommend that to all my friends. I mean, you figure this one's what, 41 gigs and there's yeah. been no updates yet. So if you're going to start packing on updates too. It's like probably reach a day where that 64 gig won't even hold this one game. Yeah, well, you know what's you know what's kind of messed up about the storage size? I'm kind of of the belief that a lot of that storage size is like so there's a single player campaign, which is big. It's a big campaign. Uh there's multiplayer, but then there's also this gallery mode, which is cool. Like there's a bunch of documentaries about like World War Two veterans and world and World War Two. But they're movies, yeah. It's a lot of total like video time like how much of the 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 file in the game is just those documentaries is it like 20 gigabytes of it like how much of it you know well that and you throw in the amount of cutscenes they have in the, the story in the campaign mode. yeah yeah the campaign is um it's a decent story but it's pretty cut and dry the way it goes it's like long kind of cutscene. Long is, an, long is an understatement. Yeah, it's like you'll be sitting there for like 20 minutes. It's, no a, movie's, it's a movie's worth of content in the, the campaign mode. Yeah. And easily, then, and easily, then, easily. And hours. Then after sitting there in this long-ass cutscene, then you'll shoot people for like three minutes. You'll just fight wave of enemy, wave of enemy, wave of enemy, cutscene. Yep. Wave of enemy, and it's wave a of typical enemy. typical Medal of Honor. You know, you're fighting Nazis. Yeah, it's World War Two. You're, it's pretty cool. You get to you you play as a, an OSS agent, so you you're fighting in Western Europe. You know, war torn Europe, French resistance. Yep, and then you uh you know you fight Nazis. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. But no, there there is a, I mean, I like the story. Yeah. It's not bad. No, it's, just it's not long bad. As hell, but and it it's it, it's just repetitive. It's. Again, same format. I do like the characters in it. Again, it, like you said, it's a good story, but mm -hmm. it's also not like enemies are pre-spawned out. It's like you'll be fighting them, and you'll see them just like magically spawn. It's that old, old school. school. It's it feels old school NPC spawning. That's it does feel like a PlayStation One game in that regard. Like that's an old school mechanic. It's like instead of you know you cut the corner and there's a guy who's been hiding there. It's like if you have the subtitles on because I turn on the subtitles for everything. Yeah, I can see the dialogue of the guy where he's going to spawn before he spawns. So like, I'll be sitting there and I'll see some fucking German shit being, being shouted in the subtitle. And I'll be like, I know there's an enemy about to appear there. And then boop, you just appears. I'm like, well, this is kind of Yeah. I've had that corny. happen with people even behind you. you. Yeah. You clear a, you know, you clear the people in front of you and you walk past them and then somehow, some way, you know, two more popped out from behind you. It just doesn't work that way. Yeah. It's very corny in that regard so yeah, I, the I, cheese factor for the the npcs is definitely there yeah and they're very easy to kill like you can turn it on in the, the well, you can change the difficulty yeah make it harder but yeah you can you can it i still agree with you though you can take a lot of fucking shots before you die too mm -hmm. in campaign multiplayer not really but in campaign it's like i'm i'm sitting there like ah just eating bullets <laughs> like nobody's killing me yeah, I know. And they give you, you know, your typical array. You get a pistol on your side hip. And yep. They also have a, a pistol shoddy you can get. Yep. And then you get your two weapons for your back. Put one on the right, one on the mm -hmm. left. You get some syringes on your left arm that yep. you can inject into Stab your chest. Stab into your chest, to like heal. Pulp Fiction style. <laughs> <laughs> then, you get, then you get a couple of grenades you can pop up on your chest. So campaign's pretty cool in the, the sense of, like, you load up. It gives you, like, the first, like, intro cutscene. Where you're like wounded in combat, you did yeah, some heroic. Dead. You did some heroic shit. I guess they said you took out like what was it like twenty guys or something like that before you got knocked down. So then they award you with a medal of honor afterwards. You're in the hospital, and then the doctor comes in, and he's like, "So you know, I have some questions for you." And like that's where you set your settings for the campaign. Yeah, and you don't have to do that. No, you can skip the whole that whole intro twenty minute thing. intro. But thing it's pretty cool the first manually time. Manually change any of those settings, but. I thought it was a really crafty way to. No, it's it, it is cool. You, you know, are you right-handed, left-handed? Do you get motion sickness? Do yep. You, do you do you want your field of view to shake when you shoot a weapon? Do you want your field of view to shake when you get hit? Do you want you know blood? Yep. Do you? I mean, he's like some. You know, you can make and it. You, you you give the thumbs up. Yep. Thumbs, thumbs up. up or thumbs down for um okaying and, it. Yeah, so. it's pretty cool. It's like a cool little like kind of role play ish. Uh, way to set your settings so i like that for the introduction 
and then you sit through a shit ton more cutscenes, and then you do your first mission, mm -hmm. then you sit through a shit ton more cutscenes. It's pretty much the whole game. Yeah. It's cutscene and then. Yeah. Missions, cutscenes, yeah. mission, and not, they're not even cutscenes. These are lengthy. Yeah, cutscenes. Lengthy is a, takes. Cutscenes is an interesting word to use for it because it's not like a cinematic, uh, visual experience. It's like the game engine but the character is just moving and talking and doing stuff you know it's almost like 2d meets 3d yeah it's quite like the table's very 3d mm -hmm. and the the cutscenes, but the the people aren't as 3d as they are i don't know it's hard yeah. to describe but but they did do I don't, I don't won't shit on any of the graphics of the game no the graphics are tight and here's the thing like even the stubble on the the u.s military guy that you're working with like yep it's like the color deviation between the new hair growth and where he just got shaved in the back of the neck. It's like, it's pretty detailed. I was looking at all the detail when you're in one of the missions in the back of the truck and you're with that young, like, 14-year-old or whatever, and kid who wants to fight. Yeah. And the military Ollie. guy. He's like the hardened military yeah, guy. Yeah, Sarge. Yep. Super generic name. Um. <laughs> Fuck, man. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, I completely lost my train of thought there. I guess when you were shitting on the old man, shitting oh, on Sarge. Oh, you, know, you, you know what I was gonna say? Uh, you know the graphics are really tight for for the Oculus Quest. It's amazing that they've been able to even run it. And here's the thing: you load up the settings, and then it it says low or high for resolution. You can even up the the graphics even more. I did. I'll warn you: you might get some graphical issues and things like that. But interestingly enough, I did not. Yeah, I did. I walked into uh, a room. <laughs> And then I was getting like what looked like QR codes all over my screen. I wonder what they were though. Yeah, dude, it was when wild. You, when you were saying that, dude, it looks like I'm I'm seeing QR codes. I had wished you would screenshot it, it and then, you know, maybe it really was a QR code. Maybe there was a message in there for right? you. Right, some hidden message. Stop playing this game. You're frying your 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 brain. It's kind of a battery hog too. It definitely is a battery hog. Yep, I won't turn this. I and haven't played it without well, except the first time. Without a battery adapter? Yeah, because we played um, Pop 1 for, what, 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. And then we jumped right to this, and um, damn, it would just, it sucks it the life fast. out of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I get it. I mean, the there's a lot of shit tight. going on, and, you know, the graphics are, are tight. The so here's what I will say about this. If you're somebody who's looking for, like, a single-player uh, first-person shooter campaign experience, which I do see people ask for a lot online and the most common request is zero caliber it's like this game is is it's a decent solo campaign experience i just don't know if that justifies forty dollars and the multiplayer is like i said that's where the jank really shows it's like people's mics are crazy uh <laughs> people's character animations are crazy like everything. there's nobody in the servers that's the, what i was going to get to i mean it's, they give you cpus it, but it's a very bad sign that the only game modes that I've been able to play against real people is deathmatch, either regular deathmatch or team deathmatch. Yeah. All the other game modes, they're just dead. There's nobody in there. So if me and you load into a server and it's empty, it's cool. Like it fills in with bots, so at least we get to do some like PVE type shit. But like, yeah, and they give you. There's like six different game modes you can choose from. Yeah, right? but the only ones people are in is deathmatch. And we check. We check. I mean, literally every, every single time. night. And, you know, obviously we're set to U.S. or um, East Coast server. Yeah. But you can't tell me nobody's. Yeah, I just don't I understand. Yeah. The but I will say this, though. If people are, you know. If people are in, it's fun. Well, no. If people are using or doing the story mode because they're like, oh, well, I'm going to do the story or campaign first before I play multiplayer, then it could be weeks before you're going to see people yeah, in the servers because the, the, the campaign mode is so damn long. And you might think, like. Oh, well, I have an hour. It's like, well, okay. You're going to do like two missions? Yeah, the most. I mean, it's, it's again, them, them cutscenes are just freaking brutal. And you don't want to, you can skip them. Yeah, yeah, but, I'm not that guy who likes to you, skip that stuff. If you skip it on the first go around, then you're going to miss out on everything, you know. So Look, the like, gameplay is so repetitive in terms of the story mode or the campaign. What's the point in skipping it? What's the point? Like, then it's just going to be wave of enemy, well, wave of enemy, wave of enemy, wave of enemy. <laughs> like, yeah. you're never going to get any... So, it's, it's kind of a weird... Yeah. Like, looking at it like, okay, will I do the story mode ever again? No. No, no, no I agree with Why you Why would that. I? There's some but, collectible but things you can find. But to me, the best find. content they have going on 
is in the freaking story mode. Yep. And, and it's, it's not that repeatable. No. Why would you? Yeah. Even just like you said, I mean, if you if you go through the campaign mode and then go, okay, well, I'll play it again, but I'll just skip everything. It's like, what's the point? Yeah, it's pretty boring. Exactly. And, like, there's some collectible things that you can find in some of the missions. But so what? Yeah, it doesn't really you know, seem like, to do what anything. Is it? Yeah, it's like, what are you, you know, Yahoo? Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm like, I'm really, I'm, a little, up, oh, I'm, a, I'm a little upset, man, because it's like. High expectations? This is a triple A game. It's sold as it. It's advertised. Triple A game and it's like Again, ah. if they had ported any of the older Medal of Honors into VR, it it would have been perfectly fine. Yeah. And that's not saying there's not some great experiences in this game. I was just about to say I'm not gonna say this is a bad but, game at all. But those particular experiences right now are only in the campaign mode. Yep. So it just, I don't know. The whole thing's a catch-22 to me. Yeah, I think the price tag's a little steep for what's offered. It's unjustifiable. And uh, I will say, like, so I, I think Team Deathmatch, I think it in total allows, like, eight versus eight, I think, in total. The most we've ever had is four versus four. And that that was, and everyone in the server was like, amazed holy, about holy it. shit. Wow, like, real people. Yeah. Usually, I've heard that more than once when we play the multiplayer. Usually, it'll be, like, four people... And like fourteen bots, yep. in total. And the bots out aren't. Between. The, the bots, bots are terrible. Suck. That's what that was going to be another complaint. And online, oh my god, the bots are just dumb. The AI is so bad. At least three of them on each side will just literally stand at the spawn point. They're <laughs> just spawned at. Be dumb. Yep. So dumb. And it can you know. When we play, we're competitive, so it kind of sucks in some nights. Like, We've literally been me, you, someone else, and then it'll be one one living, you know, human being on the other team, and they're just getting massacred. But yeah, because it's like three human beings on one side and a whole bunch of bots versus mm -hmm. one human being on the other and a bunch of useless bots. Yeah, I think the bots should be hard. The bots should be like it almost looks like because I used to do um for Counter Strike, I I I could do bots and mm -hmm. I'd have to like set all the waypoints you want them to go to and not go to and all that. And I'm telling you, a handful of those bots behave like they were never set. Like, mm -hmm. they were just there. Like, okay, we'll take these two bots and we'll put them there. But they never gave them locations to go to if they even map it that way. You know, but if it, it's like, come on. No, the AI is pretty just shot in general. There's, I'll, I'll see them just standing there and I'm like, do I wave at this AI just to be stupid real quick? I'll just pop a headshot real quick. Yeah, or you can get the... If you're lucky enough to find the knife, you can knife him. Throw the the knife throwing is pretty amazing when you can do it. The um, what's cool is in the campaign after your your first little intro cutscenes and you're just about to finally play, and you you stop there in between each major mission. Um, there's kind of like a a shooting range, kind of like uh, it's an educational area. Yeah, it lets you try on all the weapons. You know, shoot them. They'll even the first time you go to it, there's a lady there, and she'll she'll give you a little breakdown She's about there every, every time. weapon. Okay, every time. Yeah, yeah, and she'll she'll give you the whole breakdown about every weapon, though. That that you know, you put it in. She'll be like, "This is the backstory of the." You know what sucks about that though? What? So she's there in the beginning, right? Yep. And then when you complete mission one, you go to mission two. You're in that room again, and if you pick up the gun, she's gonna tell you the same exact shit. Yeah, like you like it never got done. When you go there again, same shit. Same shit. Mm-hmm. It's like, I get it. I've learned about it. Someone had to know that if you'd been there the first time, yeah. And she has her own shit to say every time you're there, specific to you know why you're there. And I just I don't know, dude. I I think someone dropped the ball. Maybe they released it quicker than they should have. I you know I can't make excuses for for the franchise, but as a consumer of the franchise for Jesus, as long as there's been a Medal of Honor, I'm. Yeah, but that shooting range is cool the first time you go in. Everything's cause, cool the first time. Because you get to try everything out. There's a little, like, uh, training area after you do the shooting range. Where you try out all of your guns, you pick your load out, and then you go into this training area. And it's like, you know, fight this wave of enemies, and then they give yeah. you a score. Give you two options. Train and, you know, yep. useless fun, or go... Or then you go right into go the mission. Go into the campaign. Yep. And then, like, there's, mis you know, let's say mission one, right? There's probably, like... Jesus, what would you say? Ten missions in mission one? 
some shit like Could that. Be, yeah. And then then there's mission two, and it's the same shit. Mission three. So like, there's a lot of sub missions in between each mission. It's hard to call it mission one, mission two, mission you three. Know, it's funny. It says like, because you see like what looks like a huge <laughs> poster, you know, big hundred mm-hmm. foot poster. Join the resistance, it says, whatever. Single player, mission one, you know. Yeah. French Revolution, whatever. And it's like why. Yeah, obviously Why, single player. No shit. So yeah. I keep I every time I see that I'm like, oh, I wonder if they're ever gonna have a multiplayer I'll for say campaign. Right now, if multi if campaign was multiplayer, the price tag right off the top would be way more justifiable. Yeah. Right off the top. Yep. Forty is forty forty steep, dude. Steep because nobody's in the multiplayer. It's a little janky. You know, the the it doesn't function the best. You're gonna get glitches. And the campaign's like a one-time playthrough thing. I wish, too, that they could let you because, because of how massive the download size is. Mm-hmm. I wish you could choose to download just the game and not the documentary, download just the campaign, download just the multiplayer. You know, maybe let you break it up. Um, You're not alone in that. Yeah, I've There's seen that commonly. That, yeah. Because it, it would make sense. At least let you drop the documentaries because, dude, I want to know how much of the storage space – or this install is is those movies? Did they like not compress anything? And it's, it's a lot just, of it's a lot of clips too. Yeah, it's a lot. It's of, not like one or two. Like it was like no. There's 16, a there's 20. a lot of documentaries in there, and you know it'll either be about a veteran or an area, and then there's like a full blown like award winning documentary Have in you there. Watched any of them? Uh, I watched one about um one of the vets, and here's the sad thing about it: I was enjoying the documentary, and then it tried to like load me in to like a 3d immersive environment and it got cl- glitchy it didn't really work it made me redraw my guardian and then like i was like all right it, everything started to glitch out and then i you know after i drew my guardian I, I resumed and the documentary was going but the whole screen was black so i was assuming that was when i was supposed to be in the 3d environment so then it left the 3d environment and then the, the documentary kept playing like flat screen style and then it went to go put me back into a 3D environment, and my game completely crashed. All right, that's when you were saying my game crashed. Yeah, I was All like, right. it, I was like, this, it, oh, man, it's unfortunate. Big studios, big names, big publishers. And I wouldn't be critical if it wasn't who it is. Uh, you know, I, if this was an indie developer, I'd be like, this is the greatest game since. Well, let's let's be real. Sliced bread. But when you come out with the, uh, when you come out and you have the funds, to to produce a game that's. And it's it's this choppy. It's this for the price tag. Yeah, twenty four ninety nine. I was just about to say twenty five dollars would be a damn good steal, and that would make a Justify lot more people. More people would probably buy it, and then you but know more it, multiplayer. Mean, if their studios got three hundred employees. Yeah, well, you know I what mean, this you're not feeding those mouths on twenty five dollars. You know what this says to me because we've seen, uh, you know, sp- dude, we do this every week. Mm-hmm. We review games that are very polished, very well done with studios that are four people, four, three seven. people, two people, one person, you know, five, seven, whatever. Very small groups of people, but they understand VR game development very well. So they're able to put out very well polished things. I'm a little suspicious that maybe Respawn uh, underestimated the skilled work well, that is VR game development. Because, like, this doesn't feel like... St- people who knew vr game development that's i'm being honest well it seems like they went in thinking like we're just gonna shit on this and it it could also be the um what we've learned from the smaller studios is the smaller teams have more flexibility for ideas and creativity yeah it could have been you know ea said this has to happen we need these documentaries going there you know the memos coming out every day the emails going out every day i mean so who knows i mean and who shit for all we know one guy in the whole studio was in a cubicle working on this game for the the past year going the vr team was five guys you know yeah you know but my my point with it is is if if you're a known studio like like to that extent and and you have the backing and funding and and shit when the game loads up and you see electronic arcs Mm -hmm. you hear that nice voice medal of honor above and beyond you have you have pretty huge expectations Mm mm-hmm so with that, I I play this game with huge expectations and nothing less because again it's almost fifty bucks. 
And it, it's not that it can't be done. You know, Resident Evil dropped with that same price tag with rave reviews. Functions great. 10 works gigs. great. Like 7, 7.8 gigs. Yeah, something went wrong. <clears throat> I don't, you know, I haven't seen any updates. Not yet. Well, and can I tell you the truth? When we've been playing multiplayer, it's janky. Yeah. But when people are in the server in Team Deathmatch, it's fun. I just don't, I can't confidently tell somebody, yo, spend $40. I wouldn't. So we can go do some, it's not worth $40. Not at 40. If, not, not at 40 with, I, I, uh, if it was cheaper, so more people. You know that feeling just, that you get when you spend money for something yes. and you have like, you and, know, almost like a little kid, you think it's going to work exactly like you're expecting it to and you begged and pleaded or whatever and then you get it and it's just that, just that tinge of you're still happy you're but you're you know 15 percent of you is a little sad inside you're almost forcing yourself to like it um that's that's how i would describe spending 40 bucks on it yeah it's, it's not if, worth if you were to spend 40 bucks on it yeah this 25 dollars, i'd be like yo pick it up for some good you know online. i'd pick it up just for the ca the campaign level yeah i might never play it again yeah but i've never Twenty-five dollars for an online I've mode never, and a campaign. I've never seen file. a campaign mode so long, so I mean, I'll give props where props need to be given. Yeah, it's a long ass campaign. You know, so if if like, I think you would say if you're into you know story mode games and campaign modes and that's your your gig, then I would challenge any game on the market right now in the VR world to provide a better, like military first person shooter game. You know my other like downside though. What? It's like. I play standing. It's just a pain sometimes to just stand there. I mean, I feel like I'm part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. They they do no, great with the ability to look guys. around and the two French women or the main French French um, lady working for the you know. Well, you don't make any difference in the story besides mm -hmm. the actual killing. Yeah. No, that's all you do. You just the kill plant guy. bombs. Kill. Everybody else does the talking, the choices. You're just fucking like, tell me who to kill. I will say, if people Cold can battle assassin. it out to, like, you know, Mission 3 and shit, it starts to get a little better with the the fun aspect of it. Yep, start you to know? add in some plane shit, too. Planes, bomber, you know, your bomber guy. Your Which I will say, anti because of that, and you, you even were saying, like, emphasizing this, it's like, in between missions, when you finally finish Mission 1, you get to Mission 2, you finally mission, finish Mission 2, you get to Mission 3, whatever, you should probably go to that training area. Because they will show you something specific. Yeah, to the in, in that training area is a little completely opposite corner of where the lady's standing. Yep, is a, is a little like even when you have to do something like pretend to be a janitor and shit. You know, they make you throw trash into a trash, either a trash can or this like janitor cart. But there's a bomb bombardier little training thing you need to do. And if you skip that, then, man, that mission's going to be challenging. Yeah, so I recommend do the little training thing before each major mission because they're going to give you some gameplay element. Yeah, it's not that down are the hall. Like... It's just all, it's a freestanding little machine. Yep. Just like one of the guns would be or the grenades or the dudes in all the uniforms. Or... And but, to yeah, walk around that little room. And to give props where props are due, like, it, graphically, <laughs> it's amazing. It's impressive that they were able to get this running on the Oculus Quest, too. It's just a little janky. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. The mo, you know, game mode runs smooth, but the NPCs yeah. are stupid. Old school suck. The way they load in is idiotic. The graphics, like you said, are great. The graphics are amazing. There's no complaint. This, the, you know, let's even take it deeper. The, the sound score is good. Yep. Um, the storyline is good in the campaign. The, the voice acting is good. Yeah, it and wasn't so, like shoddy voice acting. It's a compelling story. It's good. And you know what's you know what's funny? Co-op would work great in story mode because, like, again, there's no choice saying thing. Like, like two people could just exist there. Fine, it wouldn't make any difference. No, not at all. Like, it could so definitely be done. No, no. If they brought if they brought co-op, I would I would revisit this. Like me and you doing a campaign together would be fun. Well, yeah. A lot funner than sitting there by yourself. Like you said, no point in no point in seventy five percent of the whole game. Yeah, because that's you know, I I was actually gonna replay everything and time how much actual game time to story mode, but I just don't want to. I just don't want to sit through it. Yeah, there was one time I was sitting I there. 
to a long ass cutscene. During one, like somebody was getting captured. I don't want to give too much spoilers, but I was just fucking sitting there forever. No spoilers, dude. You're fighting fucking Nazis, and we know that he didn't win. Fucking, <laughs> fucking <laughs> sitting there in the fucking. No, I'm not capturing somebody. Somebody's getting captured. Some, one of our people. But I'm sitting there in a tunnel, just watching it all happen. Like, what the fuck? This is taking forever, right? And then, like, there was a point where I was like, I can shoot this guy in the head. Like, there's not other people who are gonna retaliate and like be pissed about this. So I shot him in the fucking dome, and I was like, run, bitch. And then it was like, you failed. And then I had to sit there and watch that whole, like, 12-minute fucking cutscene again. Four F-bombs in less than a minute. Good I'm sorry. Job. I was so, it was so annoying. <laughs> it was job. so annoying, dude. <laughs> that Ugh. cracks me up. I started counting after the second one in 15 seconds. Because it was, it was frustrating, dude. I'm sitting there. I'm just trying to play the game, and it's like, all right, maybe I'll shoot this dude in the head. It looks like a good opportunity. And after like 10 minutes, you know, I do it. And then it's like, oh, it shot me way back here. I'm like, oh, I don't even want to play this game anymore. <laughs> then I sat there like a ditz, like sitting there, doo -doo 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 -doo, watching my teammate get captured again. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, no. It, it like, took forever. Skip the cutscenes. Yeah. No, I don't. I mean, I, I don't mean to be. Right. I'm not really shitting on it. I'm just being honest about it. I don't, you know. I I'll be I'll be damned if somebody ever listens to us talk and is like, "Oh man, you guys said you loved the game, so I went and got it, and uh, I hated it. I hated that <laughs> game. You guys are just flat out. You know, look, I would tell people if if you played the Medal of Honor franchise, it's not going to matter. I mean, I played them. I loved them all. I would have, you know, have they all been great? No. Is this probably the worst one in the bunch? Yeah. Sadly. And that's why I'll stick to my guns and say they should have just ported one of the real old. Yeah. Up the graphics, which seems to be the, the common thing now. And it's unfortunate that the only thing multiplayer is missing, besides, well, besides characters not having seizures as they walk, is more people playing. Dude, that's you. <laughs> but like, I don't want to tell people to spend the money. It's like, ah, man, just discount it. Drop the price. It's not worth forty. It's a catch twenty two. Let's be honest. It's not worth forty. Yeah, I'm. My intention or my plan with this game is, um, I'm sure you and I will will dick around in multiplayer now and then, but I'm gonna shelf it. Yeah, I'll finish the campaign and when I when I see any update other than bug fixes, we tried so hard in the multiplayer. We tried every single game mode. We tried. The yeah. only game mode that had people was Team Deathmatch, and it was fun. And not for nothing, the community's damn cool. It, it was a real cool community. The few people we were able to talk to while yeah. playing and stuff, they, I haven't, I honestly, zero. And I think it's just because it's like you're stranded on an island for 10 years, <laughs> and then somebody joins. Somebody's on the island. Yeah, that <laughs> one Yay! guy was. No, there's no toxicity. No. No. Well, no, because everyone's just so appreciative to have have another have another human being to talk to. But I'm convinced that uh, a full lobby would be fun. It'd be fun as hell. But I'm gonna throw a butt in there, and it's one of my complaints about the multiplayer. Is the map sizes are, are they're just tiny, <laughs> tiny, dude. There's one that uh that Come one on. that you're on the boat. Come on, running on the boat. Oh. I hate that one. It's my least favorite one. Yeah. All right. You want to get into our final wrap up before I go on another four f bomb tirade? That was being a pissed off. Yeah, I was pretty pretty annoyed. I I can't. I I won't lie to you. When that happened to me, I almost just put down the game and was like, I'm ready to if, review if this. We it's were done. If we were edit monsters, we um, we'd cut it out. We'd cut that out. But yeah. I'll let. Not safe for work, right? Yeah. Well, it's got. We got the explicit, explicit tag. I apologize, people. I I was genuinely upset about that. Like I said, I'd wasted a half hour of my time just watching cutscenes. <laughs> and, like, I didn't want to skip the cutscene again because, like, I know I wasn't done with it. And I, oh, like, okay. I was like, I'm going to miss something important that I didn't get to. I got you. It's my fault for shooting the guy. It was funny the way he just plopped. All right. I, I All just, right. I want this game to be so much better than I it know. is. I know. I'm sad. I agree. I, I think your analogy of, like, that little bit of disappointment, like, I playing multiplayer it felt like i was forcing myself to enjoy like it imagine if you were like if you were a kid and you asked your parents like a shit Bang no, please 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 and you pop it in they're like do you like it you're like, you're like yeah you, start you know thinking. you're trying to, and you're feeling a little guilt 
like oh, 40 or maybe bucks. maybe you don't have a lot of money you know yeah. in general and it's like vr is the little escape and it's like you can afford those 19 dollar games yep. you like to get a game a month or some shit a game you know you saved up you shelled 40 out 40 bucks yep like, oh. you got the okay from the wife okay you know you can buy that game I mean, you're an adult dude yep. and you're gonna feel that any any oh, man and you know the way it breaks my campaign, heart you know the way campaign goes before you really accept yourself that it's not worth the money, they've made you sit through so many cut screens that you've passed the refund window. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's genius. No, I don't think right, that no, was deliberate. No, no, no. But I don't think that was deliberate. But, right. But that, that little bit of guilt. Is yeah, no, I get it. I get and it. And honestly, not to keep going back to the just port an old game, but when um, San Andreas drops, now we're going to really see what you know the waters are of porting an old game in. yeah I, I i think that something just went wrong in the development of this i don't know what went wrong doesn't make sense because the graphics not, are are, are and, too good but these complaints that we're saying existed on the pc vr version too yeah. so it's not like it, you know this happened because they ported it it's impressive how well they ported it but something well, went they wrong. need to do something because the 3.7 is not going to carry this game through no. the freaking holidays and if we're a week into multiplayer and it's dead in the water with the online community, what's it going to be in a month? It's sad because the online's not bad. Well, again, it's just I'm plays. banking that a lot of people are playing. So let's say 10,000 people bought the game and they're all starting with the campaign. Mm -hmm. It's still going to be another couple of weeks before they're done. Yeah. You know, whereas we're just animals. So we'll see. Let's see. Okay. So, uh, you know, in our, our, our final rating of four different categories, you know, on a scale of 1 to 25, Going gameplay, aesthetics, functionality, and replayability, with the total of those four at making up our final score. I'll start with gameplay. Uh, I'll give them a 20 on gameplay. It's tight for the most part. There's some bad elements, namely the uh, the way the enemies appear. Uh, I've seen a lot of people complain about the reloading because, like other games, have much more realistic reloading, which I do agree with. But I'd compare the reloading. It's about on par of uh, Pop One, you know. It's nothing too crazy bad. It's nothing innovative, though. Um, my main complaint with the gameplay is is the way the enemies appear. And the, the story mode kind of dragging on a little too long. If there was a little bit more mission variety and they kind of threw you a little bit more in the action and shit didn't just drag so long, you know, it would be a clean 25 on gameplay. But I'll give them a 20. They deserve it. Aesthetics, without question, 25. This is one of the best graphics on the Oculus Quest 2. Credit where credit's due, it's it, it's impressive that they got it running on the Quest 2. So aesthetics, they get a 25. Functionality, I, you know, I got to give them a 15. Um, <laughs> there's just, there's glitches. The single player, uh, besides the way the enemies appear, and sometimes I'll shoot people in the head in, in the campaign, and they're like, stop dead in the water, and then collapse like four seconds later. That's pretty corny. Um, but for the most part, you know, the jank doesn't show too much in the single player. Once you get onto the multiplayer, the game just doesn't run that great with a bunch of people on the map. I, I the, the only way I can describe it is people running around having seizures. Uh, so I'll give them a 15 on, on functionality. And unfortunately, I got to give them a 10 on replayability because you're probably going to play the campaign. Uh, you're going to play a fucking six hours of cutscenes. You know, be halfway through it and be like, ah, oh, shit, time to start the multiplayer. You know, let me try something new. You're going to sign on to multiplayer and nobody's going to be on. You're going to play a bunch of shitty bots that don't know how to play. So replayability, I can only give them a 10, sadly. Uh, I, I think the issues with this game could be fixed very quickly. I don't think it's justifiable for a $40 price tag, and I think that's why the multiplayer is so dead in the water. Um, I think it was a little bit cheaper, and it functioned you know, a, a little bit better. It would make the game a lot more replayable. Um, but in its current state, I got to give them a 10 on replayability. So 20 for gameplay, 25 aesthetics, 15 functionality, 10 replayability. They're getting a 70 out of me. First AAA game on the Oculus Quest store. Mm, I think the worst rating you've ever given a game. I don't know about that. I mean, look, it's not a bad game. I'll give credit where credit's due. The biggest criticism of this game is I don't see what justifies the file size, and I don't see what justifies the price tag. Having a dead online community in a week is, is, is going to be problematic. If it had a vibrant online community with a lot of players, it would, it would be a lot of fun. Well, or a co-op campaign. Ooh, man, be worth every penny. Unfortunately, that's not. 
not what you got. No. So Okay. So, again, Medal of Honor, say no more. You didn't have to put above and beyond because it said Medal of Honor, and, you know, I'm sold. Expectations high, happy kid, all excited. Slightly let down. Just slightly. <laughs> but, anywho. Um, I'm, a couple of these ratings I'm going to have story mode and multiplayer because I, I think there's a difference in how it all comes together but it'll figure out in the end here so gameplay for story mode I give it a 20 for multiplayer I give it a 15 there's definite issues taking place with multiplayer that don't take place with story mode but there's certain downsides I keep calling it story mode the campaign there's certain downsides to same the campaign. shit yeah same shit different story <laughs> um so there is a, a, a difference there in the overall gameplay. Aesthetics, I'm right with you, 25. Graphics are freaking amazing. If the gameplay was half as good as the graphics, this would be a, a fantastic game. Functionality, sorry, but you got a 15. It is what it is. There's glitches, weird shit going on now and then. It just, you know, it. I mean, I'm sure that many people working for a studio those keyboards should be you know, I don't care what day of the week it is fix these issues there's obviously problems and I'm sure nobody in that studio was clapping over a 3.7 no freaking way dude um replayability yeesh multiplayer a 20 it's quirky it's glitchy whatever but it's still fun so you and I play it yep Will we keep playing it? I'm sure we're not going to shelf it without the multiplayer, but we'll see. Story mode, a five. Good luck wanting to play this. There's no reason, there's no draw once you complete the campaign to go, I want to go back and do it again. And that's unfortunate because in other Medal of Honor series, I've done it. Do it, no problems, no question asked, but I'm not willing to skip through all the cutscenes and, and get bored with, like you said, you're just fighting wave after. It's stupid. But I don't want to sit there and listen to all that shit again. I don't. If there was, like, if if half of the cutscenes involved some interaction where you did make a difference, other than, like, looking around, trying to grab shit, you know, then it would, you know, it'd be enjoyable. Put a hat on. Yeah, do something. There's no, there's no compelling. So... At the end of the day, it is two kind of separate games, and I agree with you. They should give you the ability to be like, well, either let me just purchase the multiplayer or let me purchase the campaign, um, or let me break it up into two different downloads and own it all but not have to jack out my, my whole system with 40 gigs at a dollar something a gig. Um, so story mode, they get a 65, and that saddens me. Because it is a great story, but again, there's no reason to play it again. So that's where they took the biggest hit on that. Otherwise, it would have been probably like a 75 or 80. And then for multiplayer, 75. So at the end of the day, they pretty much got a... Kind of a 70. 70. Been balanced out. Yeah. And like I understand from a financial standpoint why they don't let you uh, purchase each separate. Because, hey, I get it. People got to pay the bills and stuff. But at least let download separate. Um, it's funny, though. Like... I think a cheaper price tag, which is hard to say to, you know, a publicly traded company like EA, where they're like, nah, nah, dog, $40. But nonetheless. I don't care. Uh, yeah. I, I don't care because there's. There's nothing that justifies what? it. No, 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 no. There's smaller developers who aren't eating, who who have put out content that has been rated far better than this, and we're still playing it. Yeah. but what? And it was probably like nine ninety nine. dollars You get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, 100%. Sometimes bigger isn't better. But it, what I was gonna say, it's it's funny how a cheaper price tag, like twenty five, you know, twenty four ninety nine, as well as being able to do co op campaign, would completely change this game. Yeah, it it would change the replayability on. The cheaper price tag like, wouldn't have changed my score at all. No, but it it would change the multiplayer. Yeah, because more people would be on it. Correct. And like like you like I've said, it's fun when people are on. It's fun. The multiplayer is it's janky. It's hilarious. It's comically bad, like the movements and stuff. But it's fun. <laughs> I have a good time with it. So it's it's sad that nobody's on. But I I get we'll why. see what we'll have to you know still give it some some service to see what happens because it's so new. Yeah, and I I also think some people are gonna hold out till Christmas and 
you know, it's like on that like wish list for the people who technically shouldn't have Oculuses, but you know, their parents bought yeah. them. <laughs> that type of situation. I definitely wouldn't rate it one star. I think that's no. being it's it's no. graphically it's impressive. It's a good. I, I mean, for where it's at, the three seven as sad as it is, it's, it's, it's justifiable. Accurate. No, that makes sense. Three I can't seven. argue it. Yeah, it's just it's the onus is on them to go. Okay, guys, let's we fucked up. Yeah, drop. How the, do we? How do we? How do we recover from this? What are we gonna do? I'll even say the jank is like last on the list of fucking priorities. You know. <laughs> Yeah, fucking they add, just take drop a, the price tag. F bomb like crazy today. Add, I'll come, add, <laughs> add, add, add co op campaign. Yeah. Drop the price tag. Hmm. And then fix the jank. I don't think they can add a co op campaign. It seems like that they had the idea. And like you I'm said, I'm sure they had a lot of good ideas. But sadly, it's just not a lot of them. You know what panned yeah. out? The sounds, the voice acting, and the, the movie. Yeah. That panned out great. The, the story mode, technically pound for pound, is graphically and smoother than the actual freaking game. And you don't do anything. Yeah. You're just watching a movie. Again, the the jank doesn't show too much in the campaign. It's the <laughs> multiplayer. multiplayer. Besides the fun. enemies just appearing and you see their subtitles and you're like, hey now. Ghost NPCs. Didn't I just kill you? All right. So I don't know Whatever. about... 40 bucks, $25, I'd say get it. Add co-op campaign, fix Wait some glitches. That, yeah, this 25 is a and 30% off. Yeah, this I'm is a sold. great coupon game. Yeah. Great coupon game. And who knows? I mean, they again, 3.7's got to be a tough nut to swallow yeah. from a, a, a big-time studio. So. And I hope this doesn't scare away big developers because I have no problem spending that price tag. No, this should encourage other developers to yeah. go, look, look it, what our competition just did. Yeah. Can we do better than a 3.7? So I'm hoping it brings people to the table now. Yeah, I go look. It could happen to anybody. Look at Resident Evil. People have no problem spending forty dollars. Mm-hmm. It just has to be justifiable. When you're when you're over the twenty dollar mark, twenty five, twenty nine. Yeah. There's expectations that are huge in a market that's not that expensive. I mean, let's be real. Grand Theft Auto's San Andreas is probably going to be forty bucks when it drops. Mm-hmm. But it that if it functions good, that's worth it. It all comes down to the functionality. Yeah, yeah, that's big with these these AAA ones. All right, though. So Fair enough. 75, 65 and 75 from you kind of balanced out to so a we'll 70. 70. 70 for me, you know, wait till it's on sale. Yeah. Use a coupon code. Other than that, hey, hope you guys enjoyed this week and check you out on Friday.